Okay, this is, let's see if I can focus it. Hello, it's not focusing. There you go. So here's this man on BBC World News and his hair looks like a little bit like a haystack. It's the Prime Minister of England. A little bit like a haystack. I'm watching the BBC News and I'm also reading The Highwayman. It was a childhood poem that I was read to by my father. The Highwayman. It's also on Anna Green Gables. But The Highwayman Part 1. The wind was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees. The moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor. And the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. The highwayman came riding up to the old inn door. He had a French cocked hat on his forehead, a bunch of lace at his chin, a coat of the claret velvet, and breeches of brown doe skin. They fitted with never a wrinkle, and boots were up to the thigh, and he rode with a jeweled twinkle, his pistol butts a twinkle, his rapier hit a twinkle under the jeweled sky. Over the cobbles he clattered and clashed in the dark inyard, and he tapped with his whip on the shutters, but all was locked and barred. He whistled a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there but the landlord's black-eyed daughter, Bess, the landlord's daughter, plaiting a dark red love knot into her long black hair. And dark in the dark old inyard, a stable wicked creaked, where Tim the costler listened. His face was white and peaked. His eyes were hollows of madness, his hair like moldy hay. But he loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's red-lipped daughter. The dumb as a dog he listened, and he heard the robbers say, and that looks like that guy's hairdo. That guy's hairdo looks like that guy's hairdo. But okay, and you heard the robbers say, One kiss, my bunny sweetheart. I'm after a prize tonight, but I shall be back with the yellow gold before the morning light. Yet if they press me sharply and harry me through the day, then look for me by moonlight. Watch for me by moonlight. I'll come to thee by moonlight, though hell should bar the way. He rose upright in his stirrups. He scarce could reach her hand, but she loosened her hair in the casement. His face burnt like a brand as a black cascade of perfume came tumbling over his breast, and he kissed its wave in the moonlight. Oh, sweet black waves in the moonlight. Then he tugged at his rain in the moonlight and galloped away to the west. All right. Part one. Yeah.